When a person lets us down, that does not mean that God let us down. It means that that person disappointed us. That person used their free will. They used their access in our lives to disappoint us. Now, when God allows something to happen, that means that he sees that this is coming. The reason why he allows it is because God feels like even though this person is going to hurt someone I love, even though this person is going to disappoint someone that I value, I can help them come to a place where they have restoration where they can have value again and where they can find peace again. It just means that that person is going to have to be willing to do the work and to have intimacy in order for them to move forward in their relationship with me. So if you're struggling to trust God, I would say be patient with yourself. Be delicate with yourself because God understands where you are. God gets why you feel the way that you feel. And yet God is still waiting and available. So offer God your anger, your skepticism, your frustration, and you'll see little by little that it begins to change. Have you you ever had an experience where you felt like God disappointed your expectation and how did you recover? Absolutely. Um, and I'm tying it back to the situationships that I've experienced. Like I, there is one in particular um, that I know for a fact because I trusted God in myself that God told me that this man was going to be my husband. Mm -hmm. And so when, when the relationship wasn't connecting, um, I was like, well, why would, why would you set me up like that? God, I don't, I don't understand. Like, what am I supposed to do with this? And then feeling shame for, you know, doing relationship before there was an actual relationship, that sort of thing. Um, and so based on my experience, my suggestion would be to first let that shame go. Um, and to let God's peace meet you right where you are in the middle of your disappointment, um, in the middle of your anger towards God and towards the person who has disappointed you, disappointed you, excuse me, like allowing God to meet you in that, because that's how you do relationship with God. You bring him everything. Um, and so in order for you to be able to carry everything to him, you have to get some of the heaviness, some of the weight off of you and that shame that I was carrying for doing certain things before, you know, other things were checked off. That shame was heavy. Yeah. Um, so putting that down and then reminding myself that everything that happens, literally everything is for my good and for God's glory. And when I kind of reframed disappointment and, and understood that fully, like everything works for my good and for his glory. And then God is so generous and kind to share that glory with me and to bring the light back into my life and, and to just allow me to be at peace with the things that have happened.